I'm going to show you how you can add spoken reflections or narrative to your edited video. Obviously for the areas where you've got recorded video, you won't need narration because you'll have got these, uh, the sound or the narration from your original video. But there might be um, a couple of ways in which you do want to add, um, add narration. And those are if you've got a still photograph, you might want to add narration or reflections over the top of that photograph. Or the other way is if you've actually been um, capturing your reflections out loud as an audio file rather than a video file, you might want to import that into Movie Maker as part of your video. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first I'm going to add an image into my video. So I can either add it um, at the beginning or the end of the video just by positioning where I want it to go and then clicking on add videos and photos. Or I might want to split the video to insert the still somewhere within the video. If I want to do that, I would click within the area where I want to insert the image, play to check the point, um, to check where the video is, and then pause at the point where I want to insert the image, go to video tools and click on split. So there we can see it splits it into two video segments. To insert the image, I can then simply drag it into the gap. So I'm grabbing it from my desktop over here, or you could grab it from your file directory, and then just drag it in there. You can see again, it shows the line where it's going to put it. So you can just drop it and it'll insert it into the gap. I then need to add an audio file with my narration or my reflections. I can either add a file that I've already got from um, a reflection that I've already gathered, or I can record um, a, a reflection now. To do that, I'm going to go to my start menu and I'm going to search for recorder and a sound recorder application comes with my PC. And it's very simple, just simply click start recording, record your reflection and then click stop and then it'll save it as a sound file for you. The other way is if you have already recorded a file to actually bring that in at the point where your, your um, image is. So you can either position your cursor at the start of the image and then go to add music click on where the down arrow is and then add music at the current point. So I'm going to do that and go and find your audio file. So there's the one that I'd, I'd saved. And then you'll see that it's represented by a green bar. And if I scroll down, you'll see that because of the length of the recording, it's actually gone beyond the image and into the video. Now this isn't going to work because obviously the video has also got audio, so you're going to have two of you speaking at the same time, which isn't a good idea. So what you can do is actually check the duration of the audio. To check the duration, you need to look at the file itself. So I've got mine down here on my desktop. And the quickest way to check it is to use your right mouse button to bring up a menu. At the bottom of that menu, you've got properties. And then within that, just move that way you can see it, there's a tab called Details. And down here, it tells you the length is 27 seconds. So if we just cancel that, what we can do is set the duration of the image to 27 seconds, and then it'll match the audio. So I'm going to select the image, go to Video Tools, and you'll see there's a little box for duration, which is currently seven seconds. I'm going to set that to 27 seconds. Press enter. And then if I scroll down, we should see that the um, audio file and the image last for approximately the same amount of time. You can check it by playing the video and adjust it by a second or two to make it match.